We're at our new West Annex Jail, which uh, we all just got a nice tour of. We went up to the second floor and got to see everything that our new facility has to offer. What really stands out is, as you can see with the areas that they have for fitness and exercise, they're enclosed, they're within you know, the different floors of the jail. And this facility versus the South, this is completely ADA compliant. You, you notice I showed you some of the safety features and how certain uh, handles are welded to the wall, the style of the beds, the style of the bookcase and things like that, which provides an extra level of safety for the incarcerated persons. You could see that where the tier was up above, there's a, a cage and you know reinforcements going up so someone can't be pushed over or falling off that tier. That's a safety component here. And obviously having video capabilities throughout the facility, I don't believe that other than the actual cells themselves, the living areas, the hallways, the corridors, everything is under video surveillance. So that's another safety feature because as you know, individuals in custody sometimes they'll know where cameras are and where cameras aren't and that's sometimes how bad or things that shouldn't be happening happen so in this facility as you can even see with the uh, security station that we toured you have a complete 360 degree view with windows of the entire area once this opens we will close the south annex jail it is going to take some time to have our incarcerated persons come over here depending on how they're classified and where they're going to be housed. It's not going to be like one day just bringing everybody over and filling this facility up and then closing that because we have a lot of support staff and offices over there and things that are going to be transitioned over here. So it's going to be done in phases over a period of time.